Speaker has called for an all-party meeting on Monday to break the Parliament logjam over the FDI issue. Remember, both Houses of Parliament uh, have been adjourned today following a massive uproar on the UP government's decision to allow FDI in the retail sector. It was uh, really a stormy start to the winter session. Also remember there are several important crucial legislations and bills pending in Parliament and if the, and if the winter session turns out to be a washout, then uh, all those bills will remain pending and those bills are very crucial for the spate of economic reforms uh, that the government had announced some time back. Well, the Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha both were adjourned uh, this afternoon at about 12 o'clock uh, as the opposition pressed for a vote on the issue of FDI retail. Let me go across to Kartikeya now who uh, joins us for all the latest on the story. The Kartikeya, uh, it seems that the speaker is trying to get all the parties on board, try and break the log jam. Uh, is that wishful thinking? What's really on the cards? See, uh, what the speaker is trying to do is to ensure that the parliament functions. Now, uh, the issue is such that the BJP wants a discussion under Rule 184, which entails voting. Congress wants it in 193. Uh, the no confidence motion has been uh, rejected by the Speaker. Even adjournment motion of left has been rejected by Speaker. So these parties are not letting the House function. So the issue is that at least there should be some discussion under a rule which is acceptable to all. And tomorrow is the day on which the Speaker cannot call for a discussion. And she understands that tomorrow's day too, the Parliament will not function. Today evening, the Prime Minister has called a dinner meeting with the BJP leaders. So they feel that Monday morning if they can meet and sort out the issues before the parliament starts, at least uh, they can ensure that certain legislative business is true. But overall impression I get is that somehow this impasse uh, benefits each and every political party. It gives breather to the Congress. BJP is able to maintain its position. Uh, it will ensure that the DMK, uh, Samajwadi Party, and SP doesn't get to vote. Right, Kartikeya, but what is to be expected? Is this uh, a total sham of democracy? Like you said, the fact that the parliament is not functioning shamefully benefits all the parties. Are they likely to uh, uh, adhere to the demand made by the speaker and come on board on Monday? Can we expect any light at the end of the tunnel as far as the FDI issue is concerned? You see, when I interviewed uh, Law Minister Ashwini Kumar, he told headlines today categorically that the uh, sense of the house can be taken under any rule. It doesn't need to be 184, 193, 184 with vote. He said any rule. But the issue is complicated because then uh, Finance Minister Pranam Mukherjee said that the sense of the house would be taken. So the parliamentarians are saying that it's breach or the breach of privilege of the house. You should have assured us. But then technically, by law, if you go, for any executive decision, the parliament need not to be taken into confidence. You need simple majority. If you have simple majority, you take executive decisions. So the complication arises from the fact that in order to break the impasse, then Pranam Mukherjee assured the house. And without taking other political parties into confidence, Prime Minister passes in the cabinet. And, some, and, he, and he did something which was technically legally right within his ambit of work. But the problem was that the, you have an assurance. So even while doing the right thing, the government is on the wrong foot because you said something different in the past session. Right. Uh, Katika, what happens now? The, uh, the Prime Minister has called for uh, dinner with the leader of the opposition, uh, with the opposition parties. Uh, will dinner diplomacy help in uh, getting the BJP on board with uh, the Prime Minister? What is he really hoping for? Dinner is to assure the opposition that they want the parliament to function. Dinner is to assure them that we, we, we are even ready to take up the debate. But the issue here is that the Bharti Janta Party wants to use vote to uh, ensure that there is a split uh, within the uh, allies of the Congress Party. Because suppose if you put FDI to vote, okay. what will be the stand of DMK, SP and Samajwadi Party? They will have to make their stand public. That's what Congress wants to avoid. All right. And that is the uh, point on which BJP wants to exploit this issue. And All any right. political party in opposition would have done so. All right, Karthikeya, we'll leave it there for now. Uh